There we go. And here we go. I like that. Hey, it's Josh. Welcome back to Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Today we have the Jack Chin uh, pile driver. This is a post driving uh, gas powered pile driver. It's the JC 70 model. We were given this by the Jack Chin group uh, product team because we also tested a uh, concrete saw for them and we're very happy with that. So we're down here on our Habitat Oasis project, and uh, if you watch our channel at all, you know. Uh, we've got a lot of projects where fence posts and uh, that sort of thing come in uh, to our projects quite a bit. So we plant a lot of trees, so we need to drive a lot of stakes. I'm going to try to drive this stake today, see how that does. And I've got some T-posts here. The T-posts are going to go in. We have a 50 house bird project that we've built houses for our conservation project. And I've got this T-post hanger. So we're going to hang some bird houses, see how that does. And then we've got some trail cameras that we want to put on some of the smaller T posts. So we're going to drive three or four posts and um, get right to it. But before we do that, in the box there was a small bag of tools. There was some instructions. There are two uh, sleeves that go on the end here. And this is the pile driving element here on the end. So one is just uh, uh, nothing inside of it. You're just going to get the pile driver here, which is what I'm going to use today because uh, I just don't need the bigger one. This one actually has a spring-loaded cap on the inside. This one is 2.16 inches uh, inside diameter, and this one is 2.95 inches on the inside diameter. So, But it's got a spring-loaded cap in there to help with the, uh, the driving force. We're not going to use that one. We're going to use this one, which just threads on the end here. So we're going to thread that on. No tools required. Obviously, I think uh, if you had like a monkey wrench or something, that would probably help, especially when it comes time to get it off there. But you want to get those threads all down on there so you don't jam up your threads. So we're going to get it all the way on, and that's as far as it's going to go. Uh, in the box, there's also a uh, fuel mixture tank here. Uh, this mixes to 25 to 1 ratio, gas to oil. Put your oil on this side, your gas on this side. Make sure you read the... Uh, the sides here because there are a variety of different measurements. This is a really cool uh, handy tool. Funnel with a, a, a strainer in it. Some safety goggles which we'll, we'll wear our own. And some gloves. So uh, we're going to get this thing fired up and get some poles in the ground. Check it out. Alright, so we went back mixed up a little more fuel. Basically oil in one side, gas in the other. Tilt it up and that's just going to mix in. So one thing, this thing is not super lightweight. I mean, it's it's got some uh, some heft to it, which is going to need to be driving posts. So it's definitely a two-handed lift. It's got a pretty good size fuel capacity here. Fuel bulb, fuel in there for the first crank. Let's go check it out. this baby out that's gonna need some coaxing but I think it's gonna be too wobbly Try this one just for fun. 
wooden ones. I think the other top That went in fine. I think the other top on it with the spring might keep from damaging the top. That one did all right though. So this went right in. Now we can hang a trail camera anywhere we want it. Whew! What a day. I'm ready for some tractor time.